And so obviously lots of interest in this country as well. Rosie Barton, our chief political correspondent, is here to fill us in on that. So Rosie, how is Canada's government preparing? Well, over the past week, Adrian, the government's gone back to some of its sort of regular advisors on Canada-U.S. relations to get a sense of what's happening on the ground and then eventually how to respond. Last week, the Prime Minister spoke to our ambassador to the U.S., Kirsten Hillman, as well as uh, the Canadian Consul's General in the U.S. He's also been speaking to former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney, who, of course, helped his government navigate this relationship before and during uh, NAFTA. But obviously, the government's preparing for every eventuality here. In fact, it's fair to say, though, that they are better prepared than they were at the last presidential election, if only because they know both of these candidates now. There's some nervousness, obviously, about how this will all unfold, but a fair amount of confidence that regardless of the outcome, you know, it, it will be okay. Are there particular, I mean, I, I'm sure there are lots of them, but what yeah. are the issues of particular concern? You know, trade is obviously going to continue to be a challenge for Canada. It's just a matter of whether there's going to be more predictability in that going forward. But I would say that that is sort of the common concern, whether it's under a Biden or a Trump administration, is what American protectionism is going to look like going forward. We've seen the impact under Donald Trump, the propensity to uh, impose tariffs on, on Canadian products with no rhyme or reason. And we know Joe Biden, of course, is promising by American policies for procurement. So lots still to consider, no matter who ends up being president tomorrow night or whatever night this actually ends. <laughs> or weeks from now, That's who right. knows. <laughs> All right, Rosie, thanks for this. Lots to talk about in the days and maybe weeks ahead. Thanks, Adrian.